We're joined by Senator Lou D'Alessandro, and uh, Lou, you have been involved with the New Hampshire Legends of Hockey since day one. You, right. are, you are right there with uh, Dick Boucher right. and uh, a number of others, right. and uh, this organization has, has grown uh, over the years, probably uh, more than uh, anyone thought it would. And uh, you haven't missed too many of these uh, banquets. No, we, we, we really haven't missed many banquets, but I can remember the first night that we got together many, many years ago, Dickie, Dickie Boucher, Rod Blackburn, and a number of guys from Berlin came together and decided they were going to form the legends of hockey. We were at the Canadian-American uh, building uh, in, in downtown Manchester and got it started and it was it's it's amazing how it's taken off uh, no question about that yeah it is really uh, taken off i think it was only one year that was missed because of covid right. and uh, i know the, the first year was at the uh, puritan back room restaurant right. Right. in manchester there were 12 inductees in in, in that first year and uh it, it's grown from there so uh who came up with the original idea? Do you know, well, I, th I think it was Dick Boucher. Yeah, I mean, he was the he was he was the founding father, and, yeah. and he got uh, together with the general manager of, of the then uh, you know the, the Manchester Kings, the Manchester Monarchs, yeah. and uh, decided that they, we were going to put together something. So he gave me a call. He lives across the street from me. Gave me a call. Asked me to be a member of the of the board. I said, "Geez, I, it's a great idea." And, I, you know, I went to college with Rod Blackburn. He was our first All-American at UNH mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. just a great, great hockey player. And uh, Blackie was involved with, it, with well, along with a number of other guys from Berlin. Yeah. So it was really, uh, I thought it was a great idea. Uh, I mean, what the heck is it hockey in New, New Hampshire? There's a synergistic relationship there. Synonymous, yeah. Yeah, yeah, abs yeah absolutely. Yeah. And, and isn't it about time we recognize the fact that that New Hampshire was really the birthplace uh, of hockey and, exactly. and many, the outdoor rink at St. Paul's School right. and exactly. so forth. So all of these things came together and indeed uh, it, it was the beginning of, a, of, a, of an outstanding relationship. I mean, Dickie, I, I stayed on the board for a while, but then it became uh, problematic, you know, because of my other duties. And he carried on, and he carries on to this day. He's just a, a tremendous guy, and uh, I, I think it's done a lot for hockey, done a lot for youth hockey. Oh, absolutely. Brought so yeah. many people involved. Bauer get got involved. Uh, New Hampshire distributors got involved. The Hayes family got involved. The Brown family got involved. Mm -hmm. So you got a, a, a really, and my grandson was a pretty good hockey player. He was captain of the Bow hockey team for a couple of years. Uh -huh. A, a pretty good hockey player, yeah. so we'd go to all of the games, and, uh, and it was a real, it, it's a great family event to go to a game and, and yes. see, you, know, you were with the Monarchs forever and, and did the play-by-play, -play and it, we really miss it. We oh, really we miss it. We do, We for miss sure. it, and, yeah. and it played such an important role in, in the history of New Hampshire. Yeah, and, and I know, as you, as you mentioned, uh, Jeff Eisenberg, who yep. was the original president of the Monarchs, was also a driving force behind yes, the Legends of Yes, absolutely. Hockey. Yeah, he was a driving force. Yeah. And, and you had the team, so there was, a, again, another great relationship. Right. You had the Legends, you had the, you had the team, uh, built up enthusiasm for the team. And it, it, great tragedy when the team left, yeah. it really. Left a, a, a real hole in, in the sports in, in the sports of the of the city right. and, and, and of the state, the key ingredient was good. Yeah, I, uh, I'm sure people come up to you all the time and say, you know, whatever happened. Whatever to happened the to the Monarchs. Yeah, right, we're right. going to get another team right, again. Right, right. You know, I've asked that question and, a number yeah, of times. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, same thing happens to me uh, as well. We have the New Hampshire Mountain Kings now, a uh, yes. junior hockey team right, right. at Tritown, which uh, is owned by Chris Brown. Chris Brown's another great guy. His his dad, uh, uh, sorry, his father yesterday at the UH football game. But the Brown family, very enthusiastic about hockey. The team, is uh, they bought the arena. Yes. They're yep. fix it, fix yep. up, fi fixing up the arena. But there's another indication of the commitment to New Hampshire and the commitment to hockey and the commitment to to, to uh, providing an opportunity for youngsters to to move up, but I, uh, I I give great credit for their for their commitment, you know, to to 
things that have a beneficial effect on the community. And Chris Brown's a terrific guy. No, he is. There's, there's no doubt about that. And he's uh, you know brought a great product to Tri Town and yeah. in the area. So uh, certainly appreciate that. But again, people still continue to ask. You know, are we ever going to get another professional team in the yeah. Queen City? Well, that that remains to be seen. We certainly have the facility. Oh, we uh, have the facility. Yeah. yeah. You know, it it would be great if if it, the Bruins or the Canadians, even the Rangers. Yeah. You know, the proximity is good, right. and, yeah. the, and the audience is good, and, and yeah. it, you could attract people. But uh, at at this point, uh, you know, Los Angeles is a long. A long ways away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Let, let's hope someday. Yeah, uh, someday. Yeah. does happen. Now, of course, uh, everyone knows you as, as Senator Lou D'Alessandro, and uh, recently you announced that you were going to retire yes. uh, from the Senate. Yes. Why? Well, <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife was instrumental in <laughs> Oh, Pat was? Pat yeah. One, yeah. yeah. I, I, well, she has I, an influence she over does, you? She does. She does have an yeah. influence. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've, I've served 26 years of the Senate. I've served 50 years in public service. I was first elected in 1972. Wow. 1972. Wow. Yeah. And 50 years is enough time for one person to be involved. Look, I loved it. I loved it. It was, it was a thrill to go to work every day to try to do something positive for the people of, of the state of New Hampshire. And I think it, in some ways I've done that. I said, some, I was a teacher, taught civics. And my responsibility was to get people involved in government. And one of my students became the longest Secretary of State in the country, the longest serving Secretary of State in the country. Two of my other students have become Speakers of the House. So we, we, I think we made an impression <laughs> on somebody. I think you had an impact on a lot of people <laughs> over the years, Lou. And, and, uh, and as a result, it, it, was, it was time. And as I said on the, on the floor of the Senate, uh, you know, uh, turn out the lights. The party's the over. The party's <laughs> over. <laughs> you and Don Meredith. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it, it, it just came. It, it, it's about, it, it was time. It was time. I've, I've seen so many of my colleagues go out and, you know, not get reelected. And, and go, you know, I went out on my own terms. It was time to go. I knew it was time to go, and. Uh, They'll make room for, for, for new uh, new people, new ideas, and so forth and so on. But the commitment to government has to remain, mm -hmm. and I'll still yeah. be involved. In, in, I'll still be involved to some extent. But we got to get more people involved. We got yeah. more people thinking positively about government. Absolutely, and reacting <laughs> positively. To government. Absolutely, because I know you. Uh, you know you were, you know worked on both sides of the aisle and. Right. Uh, really didn't pay a lot of attention to affiliation, Democrat, Republican, Independent, whatever they may be. I talked to two senators uh, recently, uh, Senator Pearl and Senator Lang, and both on the Republican side, but they say they're really going to miss you. Well, thank you. Yeah, so, and uh, you will definitely be missed, but you'll, you'll still be around. I'll, I'll be you'll around, still right. be on. Right. You'll still be around, Lou, and we're so glad that you're here today uh, you. for, for this uh, event. It's always very special. It's like a celebration of hockey here yeah, in New it Hampshire. Is. It's great. And uh, folks love it. And, uh, and we love you for all that you have done Thank you. Uh, for the state of New Hampshire, for the legends of hockey, and uh, for, for so many more. Thank we, you, uh, kid. We thank appreciate you. it. Well, Thanks, thank Lou. you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for all you have done. Lou Dallas Truly Andrew. appreciate it.